Grout released a new post clarifying as much as possible console ports just a few days ago. It really contains interesting information and sums up all the official information that is currently existing on this topic. Do we finally have an answer on official console ports in Grout? Let's get started. So here is the post that we are going to be discussing, as you can see it is uh, quite recent. And indeed the aim of this post is to clarify as much as possible everything that has to do with console ports in Grout. And actually they are quite direct with how they are stating everything. Firstly, in the, se in the first line we can read this, the foundation does not plan on providing console ports at this time. So it is quite easy, straightforward and direct to understand the message. But well, of course, in the future, uh, this situation may change. And in the exact way in the future, this situation could change and actually Grout could support officially console ports. We are going to be discussing that in just one second. But well, also you can use some unofficial vendors in order for you to be able to support consoles and to actually uh, do a port to them. But well, the, there is no official solution, okay? And now, why, why does Grout doesn't support natively console ports? As it is stated here, this was something that we actually discussed previously in the channel with this other article. But well, that was written like, I think in 2021 or 2022, yes, exactly so, two, more than two years ago. So now this new blog post is much better written and it has even probably more information than the information that was available back in 2022. As by the way, is stated on that line. So according to this article, there are two main things why uh, Grout is not supporting console ports and they actually break down the three main points and get deeper into them, so it is quite interesting. And firstly, it begins explaining the difference between the two types of console ports, basically games developed with approved middleware such as Unity, and Unreal, etc. And that there are also other games that are developed with custom ports. And basically middleware are the ones that are currently uh, the most used in the game development industry such as if, because if a Unity developer wants to port to console they are just going to be using that software that is approved to use it as a middleware and create the console port. And basically using a approved middleware has a lot of advantages for example, the fact that the developer can try on the machine that the game will indeed work on the target platform and that like the developer takes no responsibility if there is some something that uh, went bad in terms of security, licensing, etc. So in that manner, the developer is completely safe and the game too, that there are, no, the, that there are not going to be any legal issues or anything like that. And because of the license that Grout has, that as you probably already know is open source, Grout is not able to take that responsibility since everybody is the owner of Grout. However, it seems that there have been some cases, um, in this case it just only mentions one game out of hundreds of games that probably want to be ported for consoles. And in this case, they, they announced an open source Nintendo Switch port for Grout engine users. So basically, uh, this company, Raw, Raw Love Games, or something like that, I don't, really know, I don't really know how to pronounce it properly. Basically, they are able to port games, um, the without games. And well, indeed, here they have a section of our games, and you can select here without, and you can click in any of these games, and it will basically give you to the uh, Nintendo shop. And as you can see, you are able to actually buy these games that were created with the without engine. But well, once again, this doesn't mean that there is native support to port to good old consoles. So you are completely relying on a third party. However, as we know, main source of income is just the donations. Basically, investing all that money into actually doing something similar in some way to what this company is doing to basically provide these console ports would basically be such a, a struggle to the money that they have because it is quite limited. And for example, here is a stated that there is uh, something like 10 people working that are being paid with the resources that Grout uh, has been receiving through donations. But well, that actually most of the people that is uh, 
working to improve the engine is actually just volunteers okay so they aren't actually being paid and actually here you can see the exact amount of volunteers that there are much more the, than the amount of people that are being paid in order to work on without so there aren't as many potential contributors with console experience sorry there aren't that many potential contributors to contribute to the engine to add more features to fix bugs etc that could also provide support on creating the console port so there aren't that many people that would be willing to contribute to Godot to provide this console port because probably they don't really know how to do that. And as it was stated before, Godot doesn't have that much money to pay for actual professionals on console ports and to actually have a console ports officially. So if they actually wanted to spend money on console ports, they say that this would be quite unfair since there could be some people that doesn't actually want to port for consoles and there would still be resources that are being spent on trying to be able to build for consoles basically a feature that maybe lots of developers are not going to be using never ever so if that money that was spent in console ports has been put into making the engine better into adding more new features into fixing some bugs etc Basically, that is something that is useful for both for people that want to do console ports and for people who just want to build for other platforms. And I would say that this last paragraph literally summarizes this whole point. Godot has limited resources and it has to focus everything in the core of the project. And then it comes to the last point that, well, it is the, the, the clearest, I would say, that has to do with licensing. You should already know that Godot is free and open source and open source uh, software. So this is usually abbreviated as, as FOSS or FOSS. So basically when you download Godot, you are basically owner of that copy and with that copy you can do anything. And when I mean anything, it's literally anything. You can sell it as your own product, you can modify it because it belongs to you. You are in a way the owner of Godot as it is open source. Uh, well, a little connected with the previous point, because of the license that Godot has, it can't be officially a middleware as Unity or Unreal are, uh, because Unity and Unreal are closed source and Godot is open source. So basically, porting for consoles in a way, for, for, for to, in order to be able to, uh, to exist, Godot should no longer be a false um, piece of software. And that will basically go against all the principles and all and all the idea that uh, developers have in terms of Godot. Imagine that tomorrow Godot says, okay, we are going to, from now on, being a closed software. The code is no longer going to be available on GitHub. It's no longer going to be public. But well, at least you're going to have console ports. And probably, basically, the community uh, will literally kill the Godot owner. Or, well, not the owner, but the, the, the creator. So of course that is something that is not going to be happening because the key point of growth is, is a false principle. So to sum up, for all the reasons that have been mentioned throughout the article, the foundation is not going to provide console ports at least for now. And this isn't because Godot doesn't directly want to happen this. Because actually if Godot would be able to port for consoles, it would actually be something super super amazing that would attract more developers and even more companies to use Godot. But well, it's not without fault, it doesn't have to do with without management or anything like that. It is basically how the world works right now and how consoles work right now. So the only thing that we have left is waiting and hopefully console ports, their licenses and their conditions in order for you to port to consoles may be modified in the future, okay? But well, we will see what will actually happen. Anyway, this is something that really involves every single person that is using Godot. It would mean such a big step if Godot actually was able to provide console ports. More developers would be using it, more companies would be using it, probably even more money there would be in Godot to support it even more with more features, more bug fixes, more professionals behind the project and that would definitely be a step in the right direction. But well, now everything is clear about console ports and probably we are not going to be having a, a lot of new information, at least for some months, if nothing changes in terms of the console ports requirements. 
let me know what you think in the comments down below and i will see you in the next one bye bye